Hello and welcome back. Faintly Saintly here, back at it again at Supermarket Simulator. Now, excitingly, the devs have clearly been listening because uh, there's just been a pretty big update. And uh, let's just go through the list of what they've added. Uh, they finally added restockers, which if we look here, we can hire a restocker. And they will actually take boxes off the shelves and put them, oh, sorry, from the storage shelves and put them out on display, which is something, as you would have heard if you're following along in this series, that we have been crying out for, uh, which is fantastic. Why is my store open? That's not good. Um, what else? They've also added little labels on the shelves, which makes it much easier to see what is on the shelf and how many you've got there, which is another thing <laughs> we've been asking for. Uh, what else? You can clear, empty, clear labels of empty shelves by clicking the label. I see. So if I take this off, that's going to remain a Coke, or sorry, a Cola shelf. Which means that must be assigned. So there's going to be an assigned... No, sorry, it's the label above. That's a juice shelf. So it's going to be assigned to that. Meaning that restockers won't put things there that don't belong. So you can get a bit of organisation that way. Uh, a few bugs fixed. You can sell boxed up furniture. There is a mirrored checkout counter. So it can now have one sort of facing this way. And be the exact mirror of that one. Which might be the way to go as we expand. That's all very positive. Uh, what else have we got? They've changed some product placements on the shelves. And just, yeah, fixed some general bugs. But, yeah, the restockers is uh, certainly something I'm most excited for. Because, yeah, as you know, I've been crying out for this. So, restocker one. We need one storage, one rack, and store level 15. We've got that. I'm just going to go ahead and get that now. I'll pay my bills and make sure we're any our obligations here. Our restocker, where is he? There he is. So he's grabbed a box and he's going. There you go. Look at that. Uh, you. He probably could have got the other one there too, but he... oh, it's an empty box. Look at him taking the trash out as well. So that's really good. I'm keen to see how this improves things. So apparently they'll only grab off the shelves like this. They won't grab, say, this toilet paper sitting here on the floor. So I'll need to plan for that. But now it makes sense to invest in storage because it'll actually be useful and beneficial to have. So that's pretty exciting. So now we can really just focus on expanding. What do we got here? So he's not going to do this, so I better do this myself. There we go, get some eggs in there. So soon I'll be able to just kick back and relax and let my little minions do all the uh, heavy lifting. That shelf is finally freed up, that's great. I don't think this update added the ability to take items off the shelf, did it? No. That's okay. But the good news is um, the shelves will be labelled even when they're empty. So that uh, the restock will work even if the shelf... Even if the product runs out, that shelf will be designated to that product, so there'll be no confusion there, which is fantastic. A smart way to do it, actually, so... Pretty happy with this update. In theory, so uh, we'll just see how it all works out. I'm just going to leave the water there, maybe. Uh, red. But the way I see it is, I'll get this stuff off the floor, and then I'll aim to have everything else going forward on a shelf. The restockers can get to work. And then I don't know what I'll do. I might just kick back and relax and watch the money come in. These were burning through toilet paper. Might need to put some lights out here as well. <laughs> Nearly finished. In dish pod challenge is uh, popular on you know, these kids on their TikTok and whatever else. Um, I can't buy anything now. It's 9 o'clock, so I'll just have to wait this one out. Where is my stocker? There he is. Good job. So the only thing I suppose is that I need to ensure that I've got plenty of storage shelves. Because I've got plenty of products. They almost need to be in parity, don't they? As in, I'll need spot for everything. 
but we'll still need some micro management on some scale. And I do wonder also if the restocker is out here on his bloody cigarette break. If I buy products, will he pick them up and put them on the shelf? And, you know, if there's a new product that doesn't have a designated spot, will he make one? Plenty of things to think about. However, a step in the right direction, absolutely. Yeah, this guy's obviously earning his keep today. There we go. Last customer through. Let's finish that day. Alright, here we are. So now time to place an order. Get one of everything to start with as usual. Actually, not get that water. I've got a couple of boxes there. Where is that? Take that off. Alright, that's there. What are you doing? You're doing nothing. It's just my job, is it? Must be. How much do shelves cost? Uh, rack. 200. Is scary. I will grab one at this point in time. I just don't want to, um, splurge on shelves and not have any money left for products at this point. If I put bread there, can I get to work there, pal? There he goes. Beautiful. So, yeah, this should make things a lot easier. Oh, the box is closed on the shelf as well now. Okay. So I guess I'm just going to buy a bunch of boxes. Products. Where'd he go? There he is. Um, and then just find a spot for them, I guess. Only four, isn't there? Yeah. That's right, that'll keep him busy. I might need to maybe even just designate some items that I won't keep on shelves. And that can sort of become my job. And he can do everything else that is on a shelf. I think I definitely need to buy another shelf already. Sorry, a rack. Not to be confused with a store shelf. There we go. So it could be as simple as, um, you know, I'll, I'll take the cleaning products or I'll take the drinks. I'll just choose a category maybe. And that can be my own at this stage. Uh, and then he can take care of the rest. Maybe. I'm not sure if that makes sense yet, but we'll just have to figure that out as, as we go along. So what did I get up to? I bought salt. I didn't buy any drinks. Get some extra of the milk. Did I put that there or did he? Fair enough. Um, drinks. So we sort of do have drink shelves here, don't we? So that's not bad. Maybe I won't take drinks because he's obviously already got that under control. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, I, I get confused because the label's above the product, isn't it? I won't take that off. 
That's milk, but did I just put milk somewhere else as well? No, I didn't. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to watch that. It'll be a lot harder to know at a glance, I think, what we have in stock and what we don't as well. Ah, oh, they've reduced the number of bottles on the shelf, which is um, a little bit disappointing. A bit of a nerf. Uh, and cleaning products is all I need now, isn't it? Need some extra toilet paper. I even afford that. That's a problem. I don't need cleaning tablets. I, I'll do that for now. Let's open the store and get some cash flow happening. Might be the way to go about it. go. What's left? Hand soap. Just want to make sure all shelves are assigned. There's no empty shelves and no labels, which is good. You're empty, but you do have a label. You really shouldn't be clean dish pods, you should be toilet paper, but anyway. I'm buying water. Not yet. Uh, eggs. Unload that box now, maybe? Not quite. Okay, so far so good. I do need some more shampoo and bleach. Bleach is too expensive. It's only just over market value, you bloody suck. Look at him go. <laughs> That's cool. What a great addition. I'm glad they are. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure it was always on the roadmap, but it's just good that they're listening and actively working on it and giving us the things we want to need because, uh, yeah, it's for a simple game, it's um, yeah, it got some good potential. I need to think about other checkouts soon. I think again, if these guys were smart and actually used both checkouts, um, probably wouldn't have this queue problem. Look at him go. What a trooper. The cleaning products are the only real concern in terms of stock levels. Some shelves are empty, but they're not at risk of running out. Which is good. Got a bit of money now, so I can probably stock up on some more cleaning. Grab another toilet paper, another cleaner, two bleaches. How's that look? The hand soap there. One thing I noticed they didn't add <laughs> because I haven't got my own music playing and now it's um sticking out like a sore thumb, is that there's no background music. Still. I mean, now that the store's a bit busier and there's always beeping and digging going on, it's not like it's deafening silence like it used to be. Still feel like there needs to be something happening in the background. That's alright.
got an empty box. Why am I keeping that? Customers are going nuts here. Busy day. Put that in this corner. Uh, what else have we got over here? Okay, a bit of oil. Well, yeah, I suppose the, the focus now is on storage shelves. And just ensuring we've got, you know, multiple boxes of everything at all times. That means we're going to need to expand the storage quite considerably, I, I think. I've got management, I've got more bills to pay. Do I have to pay a loan again? I do. Pay off early. 4,500. No. Um, what was I was looking at management uh, storage. 1,800 to expand it once more. Or 6700 to expand the store. Jeez. Being a tad expensive there. Alright, so what do I need? More coffee, more toilet paper. Coffee, toilet paper, original oil, salt, rice, coffee, original oil, salt, rice, toilet paper, Yeah, so I'm really hoping that the stocker can take boxes and put them on storage racks. Counting on that. But we'll have to wait and see. It'd be great if I could sort of recreate the shop layout in the storage room. Just have racks in, you know, the relative same place just to help keep track of stock levels. Because at the moment I've got no idea what we've got here. What's in stock and what's not. I think I mentioned it in the previous episode, I'd love to have like a little PDA or a little scanner. And I could say, scan that, scan that, scan that, scan that, and click order just from a little tablet. At the moment, it's very manual, isn't it? A red flour, rice, pasta, spaghetti. Actually, I'll just um, I'll wait for the next day and just order a bit of everything again. Well, this work ethic. It's nine o'clock, and he's still just busting his ass. Okay, out you go. Oh no, one more. Come on, lady, you're a retiree. You've got nothing to do all day. And you're the exact kind of person that comes in right on closing and dawdles around because you definitely need three bottles of bleach at nine o'clock. And like five bottles of juice. What is going on? That's right, buddy. Slow and steady. No one's in a rush. 
I don't want to go home. Dog right there is, you know. I said he's back all day. And he's just got to sit here and wait for you. Fine. Don't, don't worry about it. Okay. Another day down. Products found expensive. I think we fixed that. A little bit of money. So milk is up. Eggs are down. Fine. Uh, whoa, that's a huge drop. Now that I'm not the one doing the cashier work, I don't mind making the prices uh, not round numbers. That's that's these guys to worry about now, isn't it? Okay. Right. Do you have these last few boxes here? Hopefully. Not that one. Um, okay. But do I have bills again? Yes, I do. Oh, that hurts. Because I am paying a wage now as well, aren't I? What happens if I just go through and just go... I might actually take, I'll need to take something off. Uh, what don't I need? I'll take the rice, that's actually quite expensive. And we'll just open. Open, we'll turn the light on now. What are you doing, pal? Sit around. I'd really like to know whether you put this away yourself. We have a coffee shelf. Yes. Juice. Ah, uh, that cola. Don't think I have a water shelf, do I? No, but there is a spare room there. Ariel. Uh, spaghetti, no. Now I do. Red flower. Yep. This is almost all painful. And memorizing where things are twice. Yeah, definitely need to work on my organisation there. Cheese, I thought I saw cheese. But in any case, as long as the job's getting done. Oh, I just overwrote something, didn't I? Yeah, that's going to be annoying. Got two peanut butters there, so I'll just overwrite that one. There was a salt. Yep. Can I fit more than one box in that spot, do you think? Something to, to test. I'm just going to bloody do this. What are we struggling with? Oh, he's doing peanut butter. I mean, everything's sort of maintaining itself. It's not terrible. Please buy some tea. Three bags of coffee. Oh, somebody buy some tea, will you? Look at this hustle. Out of respect. Love this one. the way lockdowns again, the way these people are fighting for the toilet paper. I don't know if that was a global thing or just here, but we had people travelling like out of the cities and into the country towns and just 
buying up all of the stocks of toilet paper from the supermarkets because they'd run out. And that was like, you know, after lockdowns and, or during lockdowns, I should say. That caused quite a bit of angst. Any product in there? How much money have I got? 200. And I do have enough for another shelf, but it doesn't leave me much for more stock. I can't clear this now, can I? No. I want them to make room for more toilet paper. That'd be great. Now, I don't think I can get a storage rack in the shop, can I? Because there's a perfect spot for one right there. But at that point, it may as well just be another shelf. I could have a whole dedicated you know, toilet paper shelf or something. That might be the way to go. Everything? No. How are we looking? Like, things are maintaining okay, aren't they? I mean, they're not the perfectly stocked shelves like I like, but nothing is at risk of running out, which I think is uh, one positive. Just need to set, you know, automatic orders or something would be next. Hire someone to manage stock levels. That might be the next logical step in, in updates, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. $600, I'll buy a couple of items to just have stock, and then I'll buy another shelf or two. So, what do I need? What's at risk? Hey, is it going nuts with the coffee? Nothing's really at risk, is it? Bleach, maybe? All right, I'll stock up on coffee, tea. I think cheese was a little bit sad. Uh, bleach. Got some of that six pack of milk as well. And I've got the juices. I oh, know I should put this on the shelf, shouldn't I? But it's that one. I don't really question it, but what kind of milk is this that it's just sitting on the shelf? Is this like long life? Something or other. Do I have a spot for the tea? Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Might need to invest in some lighting. Apple juice, that's definitely got a spot. Yeah, so once I can expand the storage area, definitely gonna need to just come up with a system. It'll cost a lot, but imagine having just a dedicated shelf like to mirror one for drinks, and they might even have two shelves for each one. Just a lot of space. Have like a cleaning product shelf. So, as the more I invest into that, the better the restocking is going to work. be fantastic if there was a way, you know, I could be out making passive income while these guys are working. Like, if I could be on the computer doing advertising or something. Because that's what you're investing in, isn't it? Like, I could do all this myself. I'm paying people now to do it for me. That should free up some of my time to be able to do more productive things, right? In theory. 
Mason Statham here for some late night uh, dishwasher pods. Yeah, buy your disgusting long life milk. What actually is that? Um, it just six pack of shelf milk. Uh, overall, things are looking okay. I love that. <laughs> Mostly, I love it because it's not me. Alright, let's end this day. Okay, got a healthy balance now. Toilet paper, dishwasher, milk, salt. Toilet paper. Uh, there's a dishwasher. Two. Nineteen. E and salt. Two thirty-five. Done. Alright, what do we need here? A bit of everything, really. I better organize this. Hmm. The drink shelf. E one, E two, cleaning products. Oh, it's hard to say, hard to say, but I will just grab a bit of everything at this point. Can you pick that up? I tried. Bread. Can you go do that now? Come on, get your bread. Milk. Milk. I thought I did have a milk spot, did I? Ah, uh, yeah, but I've got two juices now, so that might go there. Man, this is inefficient. Is that there for now? Uh, uh, get a system. But as with most things, once I can... Oh, you can double stack. Good. So I could just like load up on different products every day and then just not worry about them for a period. Oh, see, I did it again. I overwrote something. Now I can't remember what it was. like those labels need to be clearer. Egg. Yes, eggs. Definitely had salt. I have two salts now. God damn, I did it again. It's causing me more angst than I had before. <laughs> Not true. Need to adapt. Uh, tea. Thought I did have tea. But I've got two salts now, so I may as well go up there. Oil. Don't have that one. Yes, I do. Coffee. You could probably just put that one straight out. Alright, what I should do, instead of wasting time, I'm going to open this door now. Get some cash flow coming in while I mess around with all this stuff. 
Jeez. I thought I had cheese. I probably overrode it. Oh, there it is. And original oil. That's just how I memorize them. <laughs> original and new oil. Um, looks like there's no spot. Fine. Okay, how much money have we got? 700. I'm going to pay my bills and see what that leaves me with. Loan is painful. Do I shelf or do I rack? Shelf would be great, just to have a dedicated one for toilet paper. But a rack. Probably better for organization. Do need toilet paper too, actually. Three toilet papers and a coffee. And I think I needed some drinks as well, didn't I? I'll just get the cola and the lemonade. I know these have spots. Uh, why has this one got two spots, I wonder? Probably because I am just making a mess of everything. What do I have? One more box. Do I just do it now? What the bullet? Two dollars shipping for a storage rack is pretty good value, I must say. Can I squeeze that in there? No. I'll pop it in the corner. And that can be my cleaning product rack. Probably more important things to be doing right now, buddy, but that's okay. What happens if there's no room? He's carrying that box now. I've just filled that shell. What's he going to do with it? He's going to make room. It's overwrote. <laughs> he just overwrote the lemonade. Okay, that's something else to be mindful of. Um, I guess I need to buy some anyway. Juice as well. Stock up on some other cleany stuff just to have it there. That rack is full. I did not need to buy that juice. Apple juice, however. Different story. How are we looking? Red parser is a concern. But everything else seems to be managing itself now, which is great. I'm going to get some red pasta. I might buy a few. A couple of flowers. A couple of coffees. Just to have some extra in the sh on the shelves. Uh, bread was right there. Beautiful. Can stack those. Cereal. Breakfast dessert. Uh, that's cool. That was a bit silly, but anyway. Flower. Coffee. Uh, 
Uh, where'd I put that right there? I suppose that's the saving grace. If I can buy three boxes at a time, stock this shelf, I can be confident that I'm not going to run out in about, in you know, five seconds and order more. Especially things like this pasta, which just seems to disappear so quickly. I might even buy more of that now, because what's on the shelf is already going to be used. Uh, I'm just going to buy some random things here. The milk. There we go. Might as well fill the shelf before do anything else, because... Where is it? There it is. Otherwise, this is going to come off that rack I just filled, so what's the point? Yeah, like that. Like that. Good job. Uh, what else have we got? Water. You alright, mate? Any bloody waters do you want? Who was that? Was it new? I really wanted to see how much bloody water he just bought. It was you. Five. Fair enough. Uh, sugar. Nine o'clock already. Days are flying by. I forget. Was there a tea shell? Yes. I don't think there was a cheese shelf anymore, if there was. And what is this? Coffee. Definitely was. I think I left some milk on the floor. Yes. Beautiful. Another day nearly done. Oh, I've had a toilet paper again. You people are animals. Toilet paper, rice. Peanut butter's a bit low. I think I definitely need a dedicated toilet paper shelf at this point. One of those things when there's only so few on each shelf, they just disappear. Some of these boxes. What's that oil? I wonder if old oil had a shelf, but I don't think so. The room on the pasta shelf. I've got two pasta shelves, so there you go. This guy's just making up the rules as he goes along. There we go. Alright, I'll end this day. And I might leave the video there. Um, we've got a few good days in it. It's awesome just to see this update and see what it brings. So this guy's just uh, working his little butt off, which is great. Helps take the pressure off me. So, yeah, as I said, my next step will be to introduce some uh, organization out here. Really have the shelves stocked, hopefully one-to-one -to, -one to what's in the store, and just better manage stock levels. I will introduce another shelf here purely for toilet paper, which will open up some space over here for anything else that uh, might be necessary. And uh, then hopefully start paying off some of these debts and look to expand a bit more. So once again, thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, if you'd like to see more, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot and keeps you up to date when new videos come out. And if you have any feedback or game suggestions, uh, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.